Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Two and a Half Cents Podcast. And I'm being joined by Bradley, aka Sergeant. How are you? I've seen better days. All right, and we're also being joined by Chris. How are you doing? Doing all right. Just got home not too long ago from the baseball game after sitting there for a two and a half hour rain delay, which was a lot. Nobody cares. Fact. I'm with Sarge. <laughs> it's baseball, so immediately lost my. It's a real team. sport. It's not a you real try. sport. <laughs> it's you, a it's you a sport you play in pajamas and you chew tobacco and you smoke. Guys rolling around in pajamas, chewing sunflower so. seeds on freshly <laughs> mowed grass that didn't do they didn't mow themselves. It's not a sport. You couldn't play it, and you sucked at it. So you. I, mean, I could well, play it. You know what? None I could play baseball. I could play it very poorly, but I could play it. We all know I'm right, but you can speak it. <laughs> Listen, none of the players can speak English, and I'm very good at that. If they can. Whatever. I just want to apologize to all of my fans. <laughs> Trust me, that ain't English. I don't know what that is. We're demonetized already. Yeah, we're probably demonetized. I don't care. Thank God YouTube isn't my, my main job. But um, <laughs> how's your week been, man? Both of you guys. Let's go with Sarge first. Actually, let's go with Chris oh, first. You don't uh, go with me first. Yeah, we, well, we usually go with you first. Let's well, go with you know, Chris first. Uh, you know how I always play the TikTok Vix? I have one that I'll wait, come wait. up with. It. Give some background information because not a lot of people who know who that is or what that is. Uh, it's a comedian named uh, Vic DiBetetto, uh who's pretty funny. You should check him out. Um, and he goes on rants about uh, just different things and uh, pretty much everything under the sun, wouldn't you say? Pretty much. Yeah, probably. And, and he just goes on a rant about how he's ticked off and like about people. He'll go on one like uh, how people think the earth's flat and that pisses him off and goes on the five minute rant calling people stupid mutants. <laughs> he so basically stole coming. Peter Griffin's what really grinds my gears bit. Pretty much. Yeah. But I have Family one, guy. but my week's been all right. Uh, just grinding away. Okay. Sarge, what about you? Well, I've had a lot of family trouble lately. Not my family, but my brother, he's in some trouble. Um, I think you mentioned this. I feel bad because I can't help him. Yeah, you mentioned this a few weeks back. Um, no, no, this is something else. This is my other brother. He's a... Uh, I'm not going to spill out his his no, personal we're not stuff you on. To. Don't worry about that on the internet. But no, don't he's do in it. some tr- he's in some trouble that's not. Uh, it is legal because he's got to go to court for it, but it's it's not looking too great for him, and it's through no fault of his own. I got you. Well, you know that's that and sucks, but I broke my back door window today. Um, that's no fun. Uh, like on your house? Yeah. How'd that happen? Mowing my grass. Mowing your grass. People still yep. do that? Yeah, people who have grass and don't live in a fucking desert. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not everywhere is fucking Nevada, all right? I don't know. According to Most Bernie places Sanders, have vegetation, listen. not just a bunch of lights and a bunch of sin. Listen, according to Bernie Sanders, you have no idea because you're white. Listen. What it means to be poor. Bernie Sanders could suck a giant dick. <laughs> I was I was on it's funny though, because I was on the Bernie Sanders train until I heard that. Until he said white people don't know what it's like to be poor. Fuck you and the fucking horse you rode in on, you cult you uncultured son of a bitch. Well, bullshit. I grew up Bernie. in a fucking I grew up in a fucking trailer. My dad worked in a coal mine. Oh Eat my dicks. <laughs> Bolshevik Bernie also wants the Boston Bomber to be able to vote. Oh yeah, my fuck goodness. Him. This podcast is a He wants the fire. Boston Bomber to be able to vote because he'd vote for him because he'd probably get a tax cut for it. Yeah. And, and fuck and Joe five... Biden, too. Geezer's not going to win shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this podcast has been brought to you by demonetization. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> It might bring in more views if we get a little bit more colorful, but we're not going to get paid for it, Speaking so it doesn't of matter. colorful, that's a great segue. 
Oh my um, God. I understand uh, for those of you guys who watch this channel or listen to this podcast, you know about um, Sergeant Kicker streams. If you don't know, the link is always down below, by the way. Give him a subscribe to his YouTube channel. He streams quite a bit, far more often than I do. And uh, he's been really enthralled in Mortal Kombat, is it 11? Yeah. Mortal Kombat 11 yeah. has really been grinding away at the tower. The tower is, in the game, the ultimate objective where um, you pick a character, you go through the tower and take on the associated enemies that come with that tower. And at the end, what do you normally get? Now, it, it has a story mode. You go through the story mode, you unlock all the crap through there. The ultimate objective is to clear out the crypt, get all your gear squared away, level up all your gear, and then play against other people. There you um, go. When you when you go through the towers, the opponents are selected randomly, except for the last one. The last one's always Kronika, who's like this time goddess. Um, yeah, so you go through so, there, you okay. build up coins, you build up these little soul spheres and art things that okay. you can use. In the crypt. So it's in game but unlockables, every, essentially, every, right? Yeah, yeah. But every so, character. It's how that's how you farm your coins and stuff. Okay, so you go through every character, and, and at the end of each character. Um, journey if you will it, it gives you a kind of like ending cinematic like a character yeah, it, specific it's, it's more audio with still images but it's it gives you a specific ending for that character story like now, if you went through the story mode with that character what their ending would be like right my now, problem with now it i popped into your, one of your streams uh actually several streams recently and i noticed every time you were playing with jacks uh, so you're doing the, the uh, tower with the jacks, and you finally no, got through. I didn't. I didn't stream the tower with jacks. I was probably doing the story mode. Oh, I was probably. On the jacks probably. Portion of it. So tell us about the ending and how you got oh, so upset with it. So, if you've ever played Mortal Kombat, you realize that it's a game that you play because you want to see things get murdered in funny and disgusting ways, and you want to. You want to look at characters that look a specific way. I'm not going to get into that because I'm not a feminist. No, I'm just, not just a, keep it real. I'm not a, whatever. You know, keep, just keep it real. You look, you play more, guys play Mortal Kombat because they want to see chicks with big tits and a nice ass kick somebody's ass and then kill them in a funny and specific way. You don't want politics in your shit, all right? Is that what happened? <laughs> Jax's ending is all about being woke to black people's historical problems. Personally, I don't think anybody should give a shit about what happened 200 years ago. It was 200 fucking years ago. Now, here's the thing. I'm not <laughs> trying to minimize already. what happened, but I'm with Sarge. I don't think it, it has any place in video games. Exactly. Yeah, people so play video games too. This, dude, this dude's ending is all about trying to fix all the black people in the world's problems. If you want to be political, make your game political if that's fine whatever if it's in any other game i don't give a shit it's in mortal kombat mortal <laughs> kombat is not meant to be political it's meant to be fun it's meant it's it's supposed to be it's fun, meant to be mindless to be fucking ridiculous the entire <laughs> game is ridiculous all right if you see some of the moves in this shit like the the fatal blows in this are basically fatalities that don't kill you for some ungodly known reason. There's a there's a fatal blow where somebody gets stabbed in the face with an ice sickle, all right? Stabbed in the face. And then you get launched in the air and another icicle goes through your head. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I you get back up and you yeah. fight. It's fun. It's not realistic. It's supposed to be fun. You're not supposed to make people have to think about slavery, actual fucking slavery, in a fucking video game. It's meant to be fun. I agree with you. And you know what? Keep it's the shit out of there. It's Nobody one of those else's things, ending so far is like that. I will say this too. Like, and again, I have to reiterate, we're not minimizing in any way what happened or trying to diminish history. No, slavery was but, a terrible fucking thing. It should have never happened. Right. But it did. But, yeah, and but here's the you thing. play video and, games to escape the the news and the BS of all the news and all that, and you play a video game and it's thrown right back in your face. I get exactly what you're saying. I mean, you know, you know what, Chris? You know who should really be pissed off about slavery? Fucking Jews. Yeah. Every part of history, Jews are enslaved or being killed off. Yep. 
You don't see them bitching about how they were how they were slaves 200 years ago. They were slaves 200 years ago, 2,000 years ago, a thousand years ago. They, they were getting killed off in the in the 40s by a German guy who thought they were fucking evil. Not to mention the Egyptians way back when. <laughs> Give me a fucking break already. I'm, but, um, t- I'm tired of hearing I, about. I'm tired of hearing about how slavery still affects people. It doesn't affect any fucking body anymore unless you're getting reparations for it. I have to um, kind of piggyback off of what Chris said. I really like the way he said it. It's like we we don't have that much time usually as adults to play video games. We go to a job where we seldom enjoy who we work for. Um, or take you, orders because you're an interrogator. Again, I said seldom. I I happen to like my superiors, but by the way, I'm totally gonna get shit in the comments for that because people are gonna call, start calling me racist and shit. But you know, it's... no, we've already a- addressed the fact that we're not diminishing history. We just here's the thing, and this is gonna exonerate you if, for if anything. What I'm about to say is so. Chris said pretty much this that we go to work. 10, 12 hours a day, whatever it is, eight hours a day. It's a grind. You got to come home, take care of house tasks. You might, at the end of the day, you might have like an hour max to play a video game. The last thing you want to do while you're bashing skulls in and shooting icicles through people's heads is to be preached to or, you know, have to listen to someone get on a soapbox in a virtual soapbox and you know try to Amen, make you feel sister. bad you know what i mean like keep that away there's a reason i i avoid politics completely like yeah it's like it's like the whole kneeling thing in the national anthem in the nfl it's it's you know it's not the time or the place people watch a football game to watch football they don't do it that's, to watch that's you the, know. that's the perfect way of saying it it's not the time or the place my problem with the whole kneeling thing wasn't the fact that they were doing it during the game. It's the fact that they were doing it in a uniform. They, uni- when you wear a uniform, you don't represent yourself anymore. You represent the company that supplies you that uniform. Right. Yeah. So I you don't speak you for yourself. You speak for the entire team. Yep. Which is thank, like in the you army. If you wear a uniform in the army, caught talking shit about the president, you get in trouble. That's subversion. That's criminal. Here's the thing, too. It's like... That whole kneeling thing, I, I know we shouldn't be talking about it because it's so, it's so old. It's in the past. It's yeah. done. Thank God. But, but it also has its current like lasting effects. Like For instance, you'll notice you'll no longer see the national anthems on TV. I happen to enjoy that. Not I true. I Last year they did them. I don't know. I haven't seen very many NFL games. I mean, look at the Monday night games or even the Sunday night football games. They don't show the, the uh, national anthem anymore. Well, I'm pretty sure they yeah, did it's last ridiculous. year. But so, um, but anyway, politics rears its ugly head everywhere, every single where, including um, here on the West Coast, and I understand some other parts of America. But it started in California, where uh, politics has reared its head once again. Uh, this time to a. Um, what, what what would you call what's another nomenclature a for a straw? It's a straw. A cylindrical man. inhalation device. <laughs> there you go. A cylindrical. Know. What do you want? Inhalation device known as a drinking straw. There's so many weird rules coming out. I mean, there's restaurants in California that can get sued if you didn't know if they give you a straw without you asking. That's so uh, fucking. Yeah, that was actually. My uh, ticked off Chris or ticked off Vic spoof was about that because I had an experience tonight where I was at the game. Uh, I got a soda. The lady hands me the lid with the straw thing. I look before I could even get it out. You know, you get that look and someone can read your mind. Yeah. She goes, oh, there's no straws, honey. I'm sorry. And I said, I said, well, are they? She said, they, they're nowhere in the stadium. And she goes, I know it's stupid, but it's to protect the whales. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? So, I'm sure the whales said, are worried about fucking straw. And so, I said, <laughs> I, I'm glad you gave me a plastic lid. 
so you can waft the drink into your mouth with the plastic lid. I mean, but, let's um, be honest, Chris. You probably just ate the whole cup whole. Pretty much. I mean, we've seen what he's done no. to. We've seen what you <laughs> okay, do to clam okay, chowder. Mr. Mr. Agency, agency mandated diet. Oh, all oh, of a sudden, God. we have to cut streams to go to the gym. I wonder okay. why that. Okay. All righty. But anyway, getting back to the straw thing. So it's it's super, super crazy out in California. It's starting to permeate its way um, eastward. Uh, I've noticed it now in, in Vegas where you go to a sit-down restaurant, uh, anything that's not considered fast food essentially, and they'll give you uh, your drink and your food and all that, and they cannot initiate the act of giving you a straw. You have to ask for one. But unlike California... If you ask for a straw, you will get one. In California, they're not legally um, required to give you a straw, and a lot of them don't even keep them on hand anymore for fear of getting fined um, through an internal investigation. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm all for saving national wildlife, and I kind of happen to think that orca whales are easily the best fish in the water. They're not um, fish. Whatever. They're fish to me. They have fins. <laughs> they're mammals. They have a mouth, whatever. They are mammals. He's right. Whatever. They're they're fish. But uh No, they're not. They're not. They're not fish. And you think a shark is a fish. An IQ test. A whale is not a fish. A dolphin is not a fish. A porpoise is not a fish. Anyway, all those animals you're mentioning, with exception of maybe sharks, I'm okay with saving. But not if it means I have to like not use a straw. You know what I mean? Like I kind of want to use a straw. <laughs> my ease of drinking my fluids outweighs your life, blue whale. Let's see. Do I want to save want wildlife to or do I want to drink this soda ergonomically? Paper, I don't want the paper straw it gets wet and then it and it, it and it and it's nasty and I I want a regular straw. There's an easy way to combat this, Chris. What you do is you start growing green onions, right? Because we used to do this when I was young, when we were poor, and we couldn't afford things. Well, according we to wanted Bernie to Sanders, straws. we were never poor because so, we were white. what we did was my dad grew these green onions, these little, what are they called, Vidalia onions? And we would cut the green parts off because they're hollow. We would use that as straws. I'm not going to carry green onions with me <laughs> everywhere in my pocket. You already <laughs> smell like a fucking onion. <laughs> No, I don't. I, I <laughs> that took you way too long to say no. I'm trying to process that oh the, 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 of what the hell you just said because it's just so absurd and retarded. <laughs> oh man, you can't oh, say man. retarded on TV. This isn't TV. This isn't TV. This is a damn podcast. Wait, unless <laughs> technically someone's listening to this thing on their TV, which I wonder why you well, do that. Well, let the FCC find me and take my millions I have. <laughs> you know, you, you got millions to go watch people play games in their pajamas. No blood, right? Speaking oh, of, man, like, this guy goes to like every other home home game in. Uh, let's see, how many games have you been to this year so far? I'm trying to think. For the Nationals, yeah, I think like. Six to eight. Like, don't you get bored going to baseball games, bro? Absolutely. Actually, going to the games is pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. It is. I'm I'm all for road trips, but it's like once you get to the stadium, what do you do? You sit and you enjoy and digest the game, <laughs> or you just piss off the people around you by rooting and, for and the other loser team. Loser <laughs> the loser Lilliquist got fired today, so I'm oh, very happy. Here we go. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's Nobody baseball. Cares at all. Nobody cares. <laughs> so the hurricanes are on fire in the in the playoffs, I guess, right? Seems like it. I are they now? Are they, have they lost in the second round yet? No, they're up three zero. <laughs> Go Canes! Temporary Hurricanes fans. Chris is going to turn I, this I around. Just you, you, you just know he is. He's going to turn this around, and if the Canes go all the way and win it, he'll be like, yeah, well, you know, uh, we You're lost just a to the champions. Fan. We lost the to the champions. That, the, only, 
the only reason I'm rooting for the for the Hurricanes is because we just moved down here and they're in the playoffs for the first time in forever. See, I only rooted them for them for a week, uh, and that was just <laughs> until they beat the uh, the Capitals. To be fair, though, those were two of the best game sevens. Was the Capitals and Hurricanes? I like how Double R talks so much smack about the Capitals when a his team lost in the same round this year, and last year they got their asses kicked in five games. I I talk as much shit as he does, and my team got knocked out in four games this year. Yeah, but your team's actually won a Stanley. I hate your team with a burning passion, but they've won Stanley Cups. His team hasn't done dick. They've won back-to-back Stanley they've, Cups twice. Dude, Vegas Golden Knights have only been in existence for two years, and in each of those years care. they've made playoffs. I don't care. What do you mean and you don't care? Chicago, you're a Blackhawks fan, so why are you talking to me? <laughs> and then the they best thing to come out of Chicago was a Super Bowl shuffle. Yeah, he's a, he's a Blackhawks <laughs> fan, and then they turn to crap, and so he jumps on the Knights bandwagon. It's not a bandwagon if you're there with the very start, you numb nut. <laughs> well, don't you think about I, that? I'm speaking the truth and nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, well, you're clearly <laughs> incapable of handling any kind of evidence or any kind of uh-huh. logic. So, fine. Well, so, you anyway. You have a lot of experience with evidence. And uh, so, maybe. Okay, you moving on. on so, <laughs> so See? on to my, my house breaking thing. I was uh, mowing my grass, that, you know, typical thing. Actually, I'm mowing my dirt and my weeds because the person who lived here before killed all the grass before he sold the house. What um, a douche. Yeah, he, he was trying to replant grass, and then he planted grass seed and left for Ohio for two weeks right after he planted it. And they had two weeks without rain and a lot of heat, so it baked all the grass seed, so it did nothing. Mm-hmm. Except for leave a giant desert in my backyard. Wow. Um, so I'm mowing my grass, not thinking anything of it. You know, every once in a while you mow over something, you hit it'll rattle around in the in the lawnmower and think anything of it. You just like, please don't hit me in the legs and break my fucking leg or something. And um so I come inside after I'm done and get ready to go take a shower. I look at my back door and it looks like somebody had sprayed water all over my back door. So I go over to take a closer look. There's a very small hole in the gl- in the f- outside pane of glass on my back door, and spiderweb cracks all over it. Wait, is like it it's covered is it in spiderweb paned? cracks? Yeah, it's is, double pane. Oh, that's why. Did you hit a rock and shoot it? I thing? hit a rock or something, and it th- it flew right at the door and busted that door out of hell. Like it 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 didn't destroy the door. Like the the inside pane is still good, but the outside pane is. If I open that door, it's going to shatter. Can you? Well, you could probably fix that, though, can't you? Or do you need to get some? Oh, no, I'll have to get a new door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that really I sucks. I'm not going to try and replace the glass in a door that I was going to replace anyway. I mean, that's the only upside. We wanted to get rid of that door. And put Here's it the thing, on. though. I mean, yeah, it sucks to have to replace that, but. Would you rather it break the window like that, or would you rather it send that same rock you hit into your shin? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, my shin, I can just walk that off. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my football yeah, coach used to just, say. When, like I, when I broke my one. finger of playing football in high school, I went over, I was like, I can't catch balls anymore, coach. He's like, what's wrong? I was like, look at my finger. My fingers turn, my, fi- my ring finger on my right hand Looked like an L, like the the finger at the second jo- at in between the like the second and third joint was broken sideways into my pinky finger. Did he, what did he do? <laughs> pop it back into place? No, I just I I moved it back in place. He taped it up and then put me back on the field. <laughs> <laughs> I played the rest of the game with a broken finger. We ended up winning by like fourteen, I think that game. What a legend. But, you know, there's no Byron Leftwich. That was a cool game to watch when he broke his when he, I think he broke his leg back. or something. Byron Leftwich. 
watched him play a Marshall. He had a broken leg or something, and uh, he would they would set up for the they would set up for the play. He would snap the ball, throw the ball, complete the pass. The offensive line would pick him up and carry him to the next down spot, and he'd do the next play. I remember he he uh, when when he briefly stepped in for Big Ben, he annihilated the Ravens' defense. Yeah, because the Ravens' defense. Because the Ravens is are garbage. a mediocre team. And I'll never forget it too. Is that <laughs> one day, the one night we were playing you guys, and you guys were wearing those ugly Bumblebee jerseys. Oh God, I hate those jerseys. I'm so glad they're gone. They're so bad. I'm so glad they're gone. They're so bad. And there's people that love those things. I don't understand it. Why do you like those? They're gross. No, the are. ones I like are the black with the uh, gold helmet. I like those. I like I like the black one with like the gold neck that goes down to the shoulders, but it only comes up to about two inches above the numbers. I don't like any of the Steelers uniforms. It looks cool. Shut up. I don't like any of the Steelers uniforms. Well, the Ravens are They're not purple enough. Purple. You know, when I think of football and manliness, you know what I think of? Fucking purple. Eat a dick. Purple is the color of royalty, man. Purple's the color of... The Ravens aren't purple, they're black. <laughs> they're black and purple. Purple's no, the main not. color. No, raven, the bird, the raven, is black. Okay. They and? have nothing to do with purple. The only thing that has to do with purple is Prince, all right, and grape juice. I want that purple stuff. Purple rain. <laughs> I think you're looking too far into it. Uh, I I just don't like the Ravens. I think if they stepped out of the league today, I'd be happy. You do realize that after the draft recently, uh, we now have like the fastest offense in the league. I also realize you don't have a quarterback. You have two running backs on the field. We have a quarterback. We have Lamar Jackson. Okay, and we you have, have a quarterback and no cousin. receivers. Yeah, you have a quarterback who believes he still should be a running back who should just run the he had more rushing yards than receiving yards does it help that we have antonio brown's cousin hollywood i hope he's as much a head case as antonio brown was i'm sure he'll be all right i'm sure he'll be a head case i feel bad for the raiders they got all kinds of head cases over there now yeah they do Good gonna, Lord. You got yeah, Vontez Burfecht and Antonio Brown on the same team. You're yeah. fucking doomed. They're going to open up their John own. John will put up with that. I want to I see what happens in New York, though. What do you think? Jets. What are you talking about? John Gruden would have put up. He, he would put up with he's it. In fact, he's, he's, the, he's the ringleader him. there. No, I'm saying he won't let a toxic locker room. I don't think he will. I'm sure he will, as long as they're winning yeah. games. That's all he cares about is the W's. I mean, that's all any coach should really, you know, that's his job to get W's, but whatever. Uh, I want to see, I, I want to see how the Jets do with, with Le'Veon Bell, because I don't think Bell is going to be as productive with their offensive line. You don't think so? The, the Steelers offensive line is tailored around Bell. Jets offensive line isn't too bad. I think he could run behind that. I don't think they can hold the. I don't think they can hold the defense off long enough for stutters, dukes, and shit behind the line before he starts going somewhere. I don't know, dude. It's it's easy to speculate on stuff like this, but until we see it in action, in September, let's be honest. I hope they both fail. <laughs> wow. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I don't really have much of a problem with Le'Veon Bell. He wanted his money. He was he was the second. He had the second most receiving but yards. But now James Conner's your guy. James Conner is a beast, bro. Now he's, he's your be, guy. He's gonna, he's gonna be great. He's gonna be great. Yeah, I can't wait and to see you guys play the Browns again. Story, and Ty he bounced back from cancer and all that. I, you know, I think the Steelers are gonna surprise some people, especially with that that linebacker that they picked up in the first round. Oh yeah, that's, Devin, what, I was, uh, that's what I was hoping for, Devin Bush. Devin Bush, yeah. That's what I was he hoping better. for. I was hoping they would be able to get him because we need, we need a fast linebacker in the middle that can do coverage. 
and still get to the quarterback if he needs to. You yeah. better hope Big Ben doesn't get hurt during his uh, ridiculous extension he got. Oh my God, sixty-three he, million for two if years. If he goes down, you guys are done. Because I don't. Well, we got Josh, Josh Dobbs. I don't think okay, Josh Dobbs. Stop. <laughs> I stopped listening once he said Josh Dobbs. Oh man. Leading any, I think he. I'd rather have Josh Johnson that we had last year. To be honest with you. Did you have Colt McCoy? He broke his leg too. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, it's a curse to be on the Redskins as a quarterback. <laughs> Alex Smith Dwayne goes Haskins. down with a broken leg. Colt McCoy comes Haskins out of Redskins who fell in our lap at fifteen, and I'm thrilled. Washington is where quarterbacks go to die. Colt Probably. McCoy comes out of a cave somewhere where everybody thought he was gone. Comes back. He starts doing well. Gets his leg broke. He's done. Yep. We're either going to have Case Keenum or McCoy or Haskins starting. So all of those are. Not so great. musical chairs. Awesome. No, Haskins. I mean, at least they have a quarterback. They don't have somebody Haskins pretending to be quarterback. Throw, in his first full season, he'll throw 40 touchdown passes. Oh, I don't think so. So. I think he's, he's got to have somebody to throw it to that's not Adrian Peterson. Well, and we that. have a gr- we have Adrian Peterson, Darius Geis, and we drafted Bryce Love. So, I mean, our running back situation, and we have Chris Thompson. So, our running back situation is amazing. We get an A plus plus in our running back uh, group. That's not a real thing. And apparently the Ravens have like the new Taysom Hill 2.0 in uh, Trace McSorley. Apparently this guy can play receiver, running back, quarterback, everything. So Yeah. Well, what happens when he gets in the NFL and he has to play against people who have been doing it for years? He'll get and at a professional level. He'll well, rush you... like double R does in um uh, I'm not putting any I'm not really hedging any bets on rookies. Did you not see how Taysom Hill played this past year? I don't care. I don't, I don't watch Ravens football. The guy is a quarterback technically, but he returned punts, kicks, ran the ball, received the ball, everything. Wait, didn't the Ravens draft a baseball player last year? We're not talking about that. He's, <laughs> he's not something I talk about. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no, next year the Steelers will be drafted out of quarterback probably early in the early rounds. Potentially, you can't afford to keep keeping paying. You guys are going to have a high draft pick next year because I don't see you guys making it over five and oh, over five hundred. You guys aren't going to be. I mean, I'll put a bet on it. Nine wins. I'll put a bet on it. I'll I'll bet you they still make it to the playoffs. Um, no. Yeah, that's happening. what I thought. That's what I thought. You won't bet because you know it's going to happen. So real quick, real quick question. So on my last stream, some people asked about uh, the shirt I was wearing. For those of you guys who weren't there on my last stream, I was wearing the the shirt that Sergeant Kicker's wife, Emily, made, which was the um, two and a half cents official logo. And it looked pretty cool, and it's it's actually pretty comfortable, and people were trying to figure out where to get it. Is there currently a method to where they can find this shirt? Um, my wife's got to set that shit up, but, uh, we have two shirts right now that you can get the one that I wear that has the same logo, only it's smaller in the top left corner. I prefer you guys get the one I got Much or better. the one that's big, the one that has a big, uh, the big logo. I'm also having her make me another one too. That's, it's a little different than both of those, but. And from what I understand, they're available in small, medium, large, and uh, soon... she can get them. She can get them just about any size. If all you have to do is shoot me a DM on Twitter, tell me what oh. size you want, which one you want, and I can have her make it, and give you a, or give you a price, and then you she'll hear make that, it. Chris? They come in any size, dude. This is this is your opportunity. Well, I mean, it, it they don't come in blanket. Oh man, <laughs> I, I've I, never seen gotta, Chris, and I'm still giving him shit. <laughs> I think you all better look in the mirror and see who's the real fat. Because listen, I earned my right to be fat. All right, spend two years getting shot at, then you can be fat. 
Well, what's Rad's excuse? He's in the. He's he's a uh, federal employee. No he, he just wants to eat five hundred pieces of sushi in a single sitting, and then expect me to pay for it. When by the comes. way, by the way, I'm still gonna make that East Coast trip, and I'm gonna meet up with you, and you're definitely gonna buy me five hundred pieces of sushi on your diet. Wrong. I mean, you can come down <laughs> here, and I'll buy you. I'll buy Not you ten happening. nuggets. <laughs> Not happening. It is happening. It's it not happening. It is I will, happening, Chris. I will end that before before you even get a chance to give me that bill, because I, I'm not paying for a federal government six figure salary agent dinner. I'll, I'm happy to pay for my own or take you to a reasonable price place, but I'm not busting my ass and wallet to watch oh, you get man. fatter. Why don't I just buy you a ten packs of cigarettes and sit and watch you smoke on the sidewalk? Because I don't. Well, like he doesn't smoke. I don't like cigarettes. No, it's the same thing. No, it's, it's not. The same thing. I'm going to watch you gorge yourself and become a blob, human blob, or I'm going to watch you smoking. <laughs> I doubt that cancer. happens after the first sitting of five hundred pieces of sushi. No, it's okay. Let him keep talking. He knows about being a big <laughs> human blob. Go ahead. I've, I've I've been working on this keg for a long time. I, I traded my six pack in for a keg right after I got out of the army. When I said I don't have to run six miles every day, I'm not gonna do it. Exactly. Why should you? I didn't change my diet, but I changed I changed my workout schedule to not. <laughs> <laughs> From a lot to none. Yeah, it, it's amazing how fast you gain weight and how slow it t- how long it takes to get it off. Yeah, isn't that right, Chris? Oh, kiss my ass. Well, I mean, at least at least Chris knows what it's like to get it off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shots fired. Hey, yo. <laughs> I was going to talk about something. Forgot about... Oh, um, so we were talking about getting a guest on the podcast, and I had talked to at least three people. And if you want, I could tell you who they are on the air, or we could talk about it yeah, by go ourselves. Ahead, go but... ahead and give them a shout out. I mean, I tried to get Narcos on here, but he's pretty busy with his streaming schedule. He just got married. Yeah. I tried to get Alex yeah. on here right before the stream, <laughs> right before we started recording during okay. his stream. <laughs> and I I sent a tweet out to Steel Legends, and he didn't answer. So I'll apparently, I'm not answer. liked very well. Well, Steel Legends is one of those guys you got to remember. He's like he he's kind of up there in age. You know, he's not really. I'm just saying that to tick him off. But uh, he's kind of like Chris. You know, the older you get, the you know, you start lacking on returning DMs and things like that. You know, the chefs. I, I answer my DMs. Yeah, it takes you a few time. hours. <laughs> he's got to remember how to spell the words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you're lucky. I answer them within the same day. I think that's fine as long as I answer them within the same day. No, no, no. It's a information age. It's a day of day and age of instant I'll, gratification. I usually Wrong. give I usually give people a three to four hour chance to answer, and if they don't answer by then, I just assume they're not going to. Exactly. Well, that's your own problem. You are our problem. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're me. that big of a problem, Chris. Fire me. Fire I you think from what? I think this you're... is a non-paid position. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. Step into my fucking office. Why? Because you're motherfucking <laughs> fired. I'm not fired. I quit. Hey, I'm gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> oh man. But next time you try to bully me into coming into a damn stream when I'm working, when we're Debut in the street, the the podcast for oh, the week. Trust me, I and then I get in, and then you dip out immediately. Yeah, after. you dip out to watch under your any normal Start circumstances an that would not happen. I just had to give it back to you. You dipped right after I got in. Yeah, I it was to... only like ten minutes into it. I gave it the back game to you, didn't dude. start. The game didn't start for another hour and a half, and you dipped. And I was working. That's unacceptable. I didn't skip out for a game. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, I also don't. I also don't change the time here. of the recording of the podcast to suit my needs either. 
I never did. I don't know why you guys are you colluding did. You against me. You did. You left the podcast premiere. I don't know why you guys are colluding against me, dude. Of a, of a failure team. <laughs> a failure team. And the game didn't even start I don't for know, 90 minutes. I don't understand what's going on right now. We're, we're, we're giving you shit about the same shit that you would give us shit for. That's what's going on. That's what's going on right now. The fact that you show up late, so you change the time to record <laughs> to suit your needs. You know what? I thought we agreed I'm to always, 9.30 I'm 15 p.m. Minutes early. Yeah, you're 15 minutes early to be in half an hour. Late, all right? We're supposed to start okay, recording at 12. Right. <laughs> we start recording at 12.30. You guys That's are so temperamental. Late. You know that? <laughs> oh, Raven's not perfect, everybody. Not perfect. He we likes to shit at 9 30 p.m. He, he Pacific. Can't figure time. out how clocks work. You know why he did that? You know why he does that? It's because that's the <laughs> tactic he uses to uh, sweat his uh, suspects <laughs> in the interrogation room. It's, Shut up, Chris. It's, it's, I always thought it in, oh, Someone will be in within half hour and then 45 minutes later. Well, I'm early. <laughs> I came in a little early, so I didn't keep you waiting. And then the suspect's looking. I always found it funny how Raven's how Raven's interrogation van says "free candy" on the side too, and it's a big pink van. Okay. Well, now that he got promoted, congratulations! By the way, they've Thank upgraded you. my from a white van to a black van. Yeah, he's not kidding, guys. I recently <laughs> got promoted, so um, the podcast will remain. But if you don't see me stream as much, like as far as video games go, uh, you kind of know why. Um, I was planning to say this on my own live stream, but you know, I'm you like my subscribers are used to seeing like scheduled live streams. That's pretty much over now. It's like I'll stream when I can. I can't really schedule things anymore. But you know, that's the thing with life. Changes come at you, and you got to do what the Navy SEALs do. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. You know. Um, yeah, Navy SEALs can try to take credit for that. That's everybody. All right, you have that's, to improvise, adapt, Navy. and overcome in any kind of life. That's any. the Navy SEAL way. And you know what? You know what else is the Navy SEAL way? Ever, ever heard this saying? What, what's What's the easiest day? There is no easy day. The easiest day was yesterday. That's the Navy SEAL saying. Day. Anyway, <laughs> you know what Navy SEALs were called before they were called SEALs? Um, you the UDTs underground frogmen. They were frogmen. Yeah, underground, uh, underwater demolition teams, right? Yep. Yep, I know. Yep, yep. Chris, how do I know this? Uh, how the hell am I supposed to? <laughs> so, I, deny, so, but I don't have a map of your brain. <laughs> so here, here's, here's this joke that my dad used to tell me all the time before I joined the Army. Because he had this real beef with Rangers for some reason. He was Special Forces. He's He didn't like Rangers. I don't know what it is. It might be like a rivalry or something. But uh, he would say, how do you know when a ranger is in the room? Wait, your mic broke up. How do you know when a ranger is what? How do you know when a ranger is in the room? How do you know? He'll let you know. (laughs) Nice. Because special forces are supposed to be silent professionals, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. By the way, special forces have been around longer than the SEALs. Delta oh. is a little different. <laughs> and double R, how many extra tactical vests do they give you with your promotion? And on that note, we're going to go ahead and close <laughs> off this week's podcast. Wait, you don't uh, have a tactical vest? I have a tactical vest. See, no he, comment. See, see he, every time you, <laughs> we hit the nail on the head of what he does. It's time to go. Circumvent it. <laughs> You guys are making fun really, of me. It's time I to really go. I cannot stand you guys sometimes, man. Like, I can't see myself. Show up late, and I'm going to end it early because you I guys are making fun. I cannot see myself doing this podcast with anyone else. You guys bother the heck out of me. You guys are annoying, <laughs> but I love you guys, and I don't think I would change this for anything. So, no homo. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so uh, this I is going to conclude episode six of this week's two and a half cents podcast we will see you in a couple weeks there will not be one next week we will see you in a couple weeks uh the three of us and hopefully sarge said 
uh, he'll try to recruit a uh, a guest. And actually, Chris, you too, try to find some uh, some guests that want to come on here and chat with us about some of yep. these things that we talk about. So well, we might uh, have Colby too. So we might have him too. He's a if you don't know Colby, he's a moderator on my stream. So and he's a moderator he's on cool. Sarge and Alex Purple Sorfish's stream as well. So here's the thing. We've got links. We got all kinds of links down below. We got links to our Twitters as well as uh, Sergeant Kickers, Sergeant Kickers uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe to him. Support us the best you can. And uh, yeah, I need them subs. Yeah, he needs them subs. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm gonna go rip my pack on MLB the show before I go to bed. Okay, now it's it's definitely stop. time for us to oh, go. Geez. We will catch you in a couple weeks. This is Sarge, Chris, and myself checking on out. See you in a couple weeks. Till next time, goodbye.